Welcome to Malaysia. This amazing country in Southeast Asia is all about colorful culture, stunning landscapes and delicious food. From the towering Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur to the beautiful beaches of Langkawi, Malaysia has something for everyone. Explore in bustling cities, relax in lush jungles and enjoy a mix of Malay, Chinese and Indian flavors. Let's dive into the heart of Malaysia and discover what makes so it so Lauren special. Over here has learned some phrases in Arabic. Say it. Ana esmin Nora. Wala ana esmin Nora. Okay. <laughs> I finally reached to my hostel. I'm a bit uh, jet lagged as you can see. Because the flight was too long, it was late night flight, early morning flight, 3 a.m. And uh, the airport is very far from the city. I'm in Chinatown right now, I booked a hostel over here. Just for a day and then I'll be going to another hostel tomorrow. So, yeah. So this is my first destination in Malaysia. I came to this temple. And why? Because it's the oldest temple here. And it just looks sick, I mean, it looks kind of cool. So I just came here, take a couple of photos and uh, explore the temple, you know? Say hi to my vlog. Isn't it small like that? Okay. So first bite, first sign. How's it? You like it or no? <laughs> oh my god, no. That's for you bro, give me the camera. <laughs> Oh my god. Are we heading there? We can head to any of these. Like, kitchen and bar to me sounds like a yeah. restaurant. It's up to you dude. Yeah, let's go. Why not? Made it to Kolmar Tropical, and uh, it's a beautiful destination here in Malaysia. And so far, I'm liking it, but it's drizzling here, and I don't like it when it drizzles or rains. Uh, but uh, it's a very good, uh, peaceful place. It's quiet, but it's uh, it has good scenic views, and it's something new to experience here. So whenever you go into Malaysia, make sure to have a stop at Kolmar Tropical because it's totally worth it.
So that was it for the Japanese village. And now we're heading back. I gotta take the shuttle bus and go all the way to Komar Tropical. And then from there, take another bus to head all the way to Kuala Lumpur. So now, we have what we have to, for tonight is that I'll be heading to a rooftop bar called uh, Vertigo. And I'll be heading there with a couple of my friends from the hostel that I'm staying at. And uh, yeah, we'll be like taking a couple of photos with the background view of the uh, Twin Towers and just a good experience and just a bit of chilling. And then tomorrow we head all the way to Lankavi. So stay tuned. For, uh, the, for the rooftop bar that we went to and uh, right now we're heading to Sunshine Beds. It's another hostel that a friend of mine suggested to go there because she said she's gonna be there with a couple of her friends. So we all are, me and my friend over here, we're heading there. So yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> we're an army over here when we're heading to I have no idea, I'm just following them actually. Sama, what do you think? Or hidden, discover. Today I'm in the infinity pool over here in this uh, penthouse. Basically it's not really a penthouse where I'm staying at but it's called as penthouse. It's called as penthouse on 34 and that's where I'm staring, staying at. And today I'm just chilling in the pool and later I'll be heading to the market to buy some souvenirs. Once I'm done with that I have to head all the way back to the airport and then go to Langkawi. So, so far KL has been amazing, it's a wonderful experience. It's a chill vibe and uh, really good. It's a bit too hot, but apart from that, it's a good city. But what do I prefer more? Beach vibes. I prefer beach over city. So we'll be heading to Langkawi and uh, yeah, stay tuned.
it is 16th Saturday in Malaysia in Langkawi and I'm island hopping right now I got a good deal just for 30 ringgit uh, I'm not sure how much is that in your currency but uh, in my currency it's a bit cheap for island hopping for a few hours so we're in this first island it's amazing it looks really cool I have a freaking ball spot here <laughs> but wait so it looks pretty good and after this we're gonna go for two more islands and then we're heading back and then probably later I might rent a scooter because scooters are also relatively cheap over here it's also the same cost 30 ringgit per day or something so worth it anyway so this is the entrance to the island so yeah Kayaking in Langkawi, Malaysia. It's a wonderful experience. I usually kayak in Dubai, but right now I am kayaking in Langkawi and it's just 20 ringgit. So it's amazing, you know? You see, the whole point of traveling is to experience certain things. And I know back in Dubai, I'm never gonna experience, experience kayaking in a location like this with islands around me, greenery, some sceneries so it's a wonderful experience and I suggest that everybody should at least travel once a year so, so what you saw earlier was the eagle hunting and right now we're in this different island I think the, crisp, the water is crystal clear I'm not sure if I'll swim or not because I got a lot of things with me and I I mean these two things and I don't know where to keep it and I got this as well so maybe I might swim maybe not I don't know This cat just came out of nowhere and just laid down over here. Well, finally I got a friend over here in this island. Because I'm in off season right now, so... There's not that many people over here. I'm in a hostel that is mostly empty. But I've made a friend over here. Say hello. Hoi hoi, kitty kitty. So that was it for the day and I just ended up going back to my hostel where I made some plans with two of my friends who I met there. And the plan was to head to the waterfalls the next day. The next day we started our day with some Indian breakfast and headed to the waterfalls with our scooters. It was heavily raining but again, we are crazy solo travelers who take stupid risks just for the adventure.
I don't recommend anyone to hike with flip-flops but uh, I didn't know we were gonna come all this way so So we're heading back right now, we're taking the scooter, going all the way back to our hostel, chilling and you know having dinner and stuff and then tomorrow in the morning I'll be heading to the mangroves, once I'm done with the mangroves, if it's not raining I'll be heading to the cable car, so yeah stay tuned. burger was so good to the point that we were very hungry so the two of us were just eating and I, I didn't record it for you guys as far as I know it was really like affordable as well it was just like six ringgit which is very cheap for a burger it's an okay price I mean it's very cheap if I'm comparing it with Dubai but apart from that it was good and I couldn't record for you guys but yeah that's it for today I mean we're heading to our back to our hostel and then we're gonna be chilling over there and tomorrow I'm heading to the mangrove so yeah So that was the back cave. Uh, first time looking at back cave, so it's, it was pretty good, you know. And as you can hear from my voice, I'm really tired. So I took some rest in the hostel and now I'm heading to some mountain area I was supposed to go to the cable car but the cable car is closed today as well due to the rain but the mountain area so far it looks like it may not rain there but I don't know you can't tell with the Lankai weather so I'll be heading there right now and yeah
It's raining like crazy! It's raining! Oh my god! The weather forecast predicted rain all day and since we couldn't wait it out, we decided to risk it and head back to our hostel. I have to say the ride was incredibly fun and I enjoyed it. But I wouldn't recommend anyone else out there to be as reckless as I was. I mean I barely could see what was in front of me. Was it worth it? Absolutely. We made it back to the hostel and uh, right now we'll just be chilling a bit and then eventually go and have dinner planning on having seafood tonight and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the day and then by tomorrow in the morning I'll try to go to the cable car and uh, to the sky bridge but that's only if it's not raining So I got the ticket and I came all the way to my scooter because, as you can see, I left the damn key. This is the nature walk and we're heading to the sky bridge, you know, so here.
Yeah, 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 Nankai is better. Yeah, yeah, Nankai is better. Okay, bye. So I just gave back my scooter. Oh, I was, I was literally riding like really super fast because I have to catch the flight, which is at 3. It's like 11.40 uh, right now. I just want to grab something to eat, like a quick brunch, and then pack my things, get ready, head to the airport.